Hi y'all, I thought I would give you a behind the scenes look at my class so you get a better understanding of what it looks like and what you're going to learn, what the assignments are, and what you get. So when you log in for the first time, this is the screen that you're going to see and it basically you're going to start the next lecture and I'm going to walk you through, um, there's a lot of videos on here. And so really quickly, you're going to, I'm going to show you how to navigate the course. I'm going to show you how to set, a, set aside time for success. We're going to talk about how to find your camera settings on your computer. I've made two videos here, so one for PC and one for Mac. And then I'll explain how to um, turn in your assignments so you can get feedback because one of the most important things is to be able to get feedback on um, your photos. And then um, you can ask me questions. Uh, you can submit questions for uh, Q&A. So you can see I've already got a couple questions here. And then um, once we get into the actual lessons, you'll get one lesson a week. So the first week is all about learning to use your camera or learning to understand your camera and dials, getting your computer organized understanding all the key uh, vocabulary and basically setting you up for the next two weeks. So you'll get um, six video lessons and you can see here you just... Welcome to week one, module one of Learn to Use Your Big Girl Camera. I'm so excited you're here and I'm so excited that I get to teach you about something that I personally love and have had such a fun time over the past 14 years doing and learning and now teaching. So that's a little quick intro on the lesson. So then there's six more lessons here. They're fairly quick, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, 8 minutes, 10 minutes. And then um, I go through a system that I use to keep my photos organized, and it works really, really well for me. I've been using it for 14 years. So I basically wrote out, and you can download that so you can set up your uh, hard drive so it's not just a big digital wasteland. And then I've got a bonus in here, how you can improve your photos. Um, even if it's not your big girl camera. And then the most important thing over here is I've got assignments. Um, so we're going to get assignments from the week's lessons. And it's really important to do these. That way you can get feedback and you can see yourself starting to make progress. And then week two, you'll get an email. And week two is all about Aperture. There's five different video lessons here. And the nice thing about the video lessons is that you can pause, rewind, rewatch if it doesn't make sense. So I go through, you know, what aperture is, how lenses affect it, um, how to achieve background blur, and then how to use aperture priority. And then I've got several downloads here that are going to be super helpful for you um, to visualize what you just learned. And then I've got two assignments that's going to reinforce it as well. And like I said, these are really important to do because I give a lot of feedback and that's really good, what's going to help take you to the next level. Now on week three, it's all about shutter speed. I've got four different video lessons here. I've got a download and then once again I've got two assignments on stopping the action and then giving your photo motion. And then additionally I'm always adding resources, things that I like, things that will help you, things you can buy, um, rent, gear that I like. So I've added that all here in the resource section and this is always changing and getting better. So that is a quick overview of the class. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can see we've got lots of um, questions and feedback here. I really like to um, give lots of feedback and if I don't know the answer, I'll go research it. And I've posted some additional videos in our private Facebook group for questions that weren't contained in here but I thought would be beneficial to everyone. But that's it. Ask questions and I hope that you find this interesting. Thanks. Bye-bye.